All right, hi everyone. So today we're gonna to be doing one of my favorite labs of the year. Um, and this lab actually has a lot of connections to what we've been working on. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit in class. Um, but I did just wanna explain what the lab is before I get started on it. So the main thing is that um, I have these six solutions and they're all different salts dissolved in water. Okay, um, what I mean by salts is a metal and a non-metal together. So all of these have chlorine as the non-metal and a different, each of them has a different metal in them. Um, and so what's been happening is that these, they're basically popsicle sticks, have been soak, soaking in solutions where I took the salt and I dissolved it in water. And so they've been soaking for a while, so they've soaked up some of those, um, some of those metal ions. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna light this Bunsen burner, so there's gonna be fire, and I'm going to carefully burn the end of each stick to try and burn the solution off. And when that happens, the fire is going to change colors. All right, so this is actually the principle behind how fireworks are made and how they're all those different colors. Um, so yeah, that's basically what you need to know. We're gonna talk a little bit more in class about the um, chemistry behind this, but I, that you at least needed to know these are different metal salt solutions and that's what's gonna be causing the color to change, okay? Well, let's get started. Oh, I also have a beaker of water back here, so, cause I don't want anything to burn for too long. So once it burns a little bit, I'll be putting it in the beaker of water to make sure we don't, you know, set the school on fire. So I'm gonna turn on my Bunsen burner. Now notice um, that this flame is currently like a light blue down the bottom, a little darker up top, and there's a yellow just to the teeny tiny top there. Okay, ideally this flame would be entirely blue and a bit smaller, but this is this is this Bunsen burner won't let me adjust it lower. So we can make this work. I'm gonna burn everything near the bottom because that's where the heat is the hottest. I'm also gonna start from this end and work my way this way because the ones on this end are, um, have been soaking longer. So that'll give us the best soak time. Okay, so the first one we are gonna start with is barium. So make sure you are watching and writing down what you're supposed to write down when you see the colors. So this one's barium. Notice that it took a second to get started, but hopefully you can see that it's not the blue and orange that it started out as. I'm trying to burn just the end of the stick that's covered in the chemicals and not the stick itself. All right, so that was barium. We're gonna do calcium next. So if you see those little like orange flecks that look like Normal fire, that is normal fire from the stick. We're looking for those other colors, like that darker orange, for example. All right, the next one we're gonna do is potassium. This one's pretty subtle, okay? So as you're watching this one, um, there's gonna be some orange. We're looking for that other color. another color that's kind of creeping in there with that orange. Hopefully you can see it on the video. All right, the stick is burning, so that's all we're gonna get. All right, the next one is copper. If I'm being uh, biased, this one's my favorite.
All right, the next one is sodium. All right, and the last one we're going to do is lithium. All right, so that is the lab. Hopefully you got some good notes. You can always go back and rewatch any that you need to. And um, see you in class.